what's up guys this is Donald from MVP loops coming back at you again today is going to be a quick video we're working on some tracks for a client who asked us to pr produce some records for his album and um, I'm using black today to work on some stuff for him so I want to show you uh, the power of black using key mode to uh, really completely change the way that you produce uh, so that your your records don't sound like anyone else's even though you're using the same sounds because I get a lot of people saying well if I buy this product will it sound will my stuff sound just like everyone else's absolutely not I prove it every single day in the production that we do my business partner Nigel he proves it and a lot of other producers that use our products prove it when they place records so what I'm gonna do today is make a quick beat uh, get a foundation of a beat going uh, with black mostly using key mode uh, key mode, if you don't know, spreads a sound across the uh, keyboard chromatically, instantly making it a usable, playable instrument. Uh, so when we're done here, if you're interested in Black or any other UVI VLX products that we offer, you can go over to our website at www.mvploops.com and you can pick up one. So uh, let's get to it. So the first thing that I have set up here, and I've kind of went through and found a kit that I wanted to work with, and I've labeled my tracks, very important to stay organized. And the first uh, sound that I have is kind of like this, uh, ah. So let's find it here. There it is. So now, I wanted to use that as a melody base, a basis of the uh, production that I'm working on. So what I can just simply do, put it in key mode. So now it's chromatically spread across the keyboard, so. And that's the melody line that I want to use. So um, let's go ahead and record it and lay it down. Give me a click track here. that quantized here nice all right so next I found an arp in this particular kit that I really liked let's find it that's nice all right so let's go to key mode on it get rid of this all right let's hear it Quantized, timed up, hear it back. So what I'm going to do on that particular uh, arp right there is I'm going to add a little bit of de delay to it. So use our effects over here and let's hear what that sounds like. Tell it out a little bit. Now all of these parameters for like the delay, we can go in and edit it. All right, I like what we got going there. So next I have some strings set up, which I may or may not use. nice 
but it's basically doing the same thing as the odds and the odds are pretty steady so what I might do is come up here and put a stutter effect on it That's 16th let's try 30 seconds if we like that. Okay, so now I'm hearing something that can, can be done that will be really cool. If we go back up to the Oz and play those for a second and we put a nice filter on them now we put a filter on them so we kind of push them back a little bit and let them be what's what's happening underneath and then we can go over here and put like a flanger effect To that real modern sound so we want to make sure that the arc doesn't interfere with the string so let's listen to that real quick with the uh with the oz sounding nice let's put the strings in filter out those strings a little bit too. Here's a high pass. Let's see what we'll get. What I'm doing really is EQing. I'm carving out space so that everything can have its own separate place in the mix. And then what I'll do is I'll come over and I will uh, pan a little bit. So now I had an idea for a nice filtered drum loop. All right, let's do it. Click track going. hear it all right so that's a nice drum loop but it's running underneath so now what I'm going to do is use my 808 that's my 808 that I was looking for there so We'll go over here, simply put it in key mode. Let's turn it up a little bit. All right. I like that AOA. Let's get that in there. And I'm going to play it just with the melody and the drum so I can make sure I'm lined up roughly. I like that. So 
let's turn it up a little bit. So I hope, hopefully you guys have some uh, speakers that get some low end because the, the bottom is sounding nice. Um, so now what I'm going to do is add a completely separate drum pattern over it, which gives your drums uh, dimension and uh, really does something really cool in terms of the, the uh, production arrangement things that you can do later on. So let's go find some drums. <laughs> I think I might want to exchange this kick. I want something that hits a little bit harder. But let's uh, let's get a hi hat going. What I'm going to do is um, put on note repeat. So now what I'm going to do is use uh, uh, my feature of um, sample exchange, which is a, a feature I love, to uh, switch out that kick. So I just click here and I'm going to go to all one shots and I'm going to scroll down and we'll put it on auto play. So the play as we uh, go through, we're going to find a kick that we like. Heavy duty right there. Get something else. I like that one. So let's exchange that one. Let's load that one. Now, if we come over, we have a separate kick. Sample exchange. It works very nicely for projects like this. All right. So let's play the beat and hear what we're gonna do with the uh, kick. <laughs> So you can control the volume level here. We can also control the panning here. So we can put it off to the left a bit. All right, so let's hear. All right. And we'll add some rhythm snares in there. Listen to the drums by themselves together, this is what they sound like. So you can see, you can take a loop, filter it out, add things over it, and now you get depth and dimension in your drum pattern. So Let's hear the whole beat together and get some semblance of a mix. Save it.
the foundation for what we're going to create. So what I'm going to do real quick before we're done is I'm going to go back and I'm going to play the original two track, the original two track of this particular um, construction kit, which we built something completely different from. <music> Now, here's the beat that we have from that. So, completely different. So, like I said... And I hope this solves some of the questions that some of you guys have been asking about. Well, I don't want my beats to sound the same. They won't. Uh, what I'm going to do with it creatively and what you're going to do with it creatively or the next 10 other producers that purchase it is going to be something completely different. 